Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And this is just another quick hip-hop video. I got a question for y'all. This artist... Well, well, actually, both of these artists, they both just drop a new song because this artist had dropped a song called Port Antonio where he was like addressing the reason why he had dropped out of the Kendrick Lamar and Drake rap beef while the other artist had dropped a song called Mad As Fuck when he released a song called Broke As Fuck from before. But the thing, the thing that this artist had did was that he had did a song called Old Niggas, which is over this artist's 1985 instrumental, where he was pretty much like, like rapping from like a young man's perspective, like, like a young man's perspective from like an OG. I got a question for y'all. Because this artist has actually made beats for this artist. I got a question. What if J. Cole signed Corday to Dreamville while Corday was on the come up? My fellow J. Cole fans, my fellow Corday fans, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. But what if J. Cole signed Corday to Dreamville while Corday was on the come up? I'm going to give you my answer like I do as always. Do I feel that it would have been dope if J. Cole signed Corday to Dreamville? Yes. I feel that Corday would definitely be a decent fit for Dreamville, being label mates with Kaz, being label mates with Jid, being label mates with Boz, being label mates with Earth Gang and Airy Lennox. Like, Dreamville is, is a record label full of dope artists, full of dope rappers. Like, Kaz... Kaz especially. I mean, Kaz, compared to Jid and compared to Boz... I feel that Kaz is, I mean, besides J. Cole, I feel that Kaz is like the best rapper signed to Dreamville besides J. Cole. So, in other words, if you ask me, I feel that Kaz is better than both Jid and Boz. No disrespect to Jid, no disrespect to Boz. I love both of them. Both of them are are phenomenal lyricists, but compared to a lyricist like Kaz, when you're working with a lyricist like Kaz, you really have to make sure that you don't get bodied on a song, because if you listen to the song Knock the Hustle, um, that, that, that he did with J. Cole, because he did like a Knock the Hustle remix, and J. Cole is featured on it, J. Cole made sure that Kaz didn't body him on the song, but... Yeah, I feel that Corday definitely would have been a dope fit for Dreamville. Corday is lyrical. Corday is a lyricist. And when Corday released the song Old Niggas, where he was rapping over J. Cole's 1985 instrumental, like, Corday received praise from J. Cole. And J. Cole actually made beats for Corday. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah... But yeah, I feel like like if that would have happened, I feel like if Corday would have signed to Dreamville, I feel that would have been a, a, a dope move. But that's the thing, Corday, with him having his own label high level, Corday is a boss. Having, having your own record label, that's a boss move. Boss move, I mean. But yeah, like, but, but it's just one of those what ifs, like, you know, I mean, I, I feel like if J. Cole would have like signed Corday, yeah, I, I would I would I think I think if J. Cole would have signed Corday, I feel that it'll it'll it would have been like a, a dope career move for Corday's career. Because you know with J. Cole at first in the beginning of J. Cole's career, he had signed to Jay Z's Rock Nation and then formed his own label Dreamville. But yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, if, if Corday would have signed to Dreamville, I feel Corday definitely would have been a decent fit for J. Cole's label Dreamville. Again, my fellow J. Cole fans, my fellow Corday fans, let's chat. 
Do y'all feel that if J. Cole would have signed Corday to Dreamville while Corday was on the come up, do you feel it would have been a dope move? Let's have a discussion about this. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, and again, my new song, Put Your Shirt On Freestyle. It's a diss track aimed at Dax. It's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. Y'all can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love, y'all.